Hi, it's Lisa. I'm back with another video. Um, this video today is going to be slightly different. Um, I guess you could consider it another rant or a rave, but it was just something that was on my brain recently. Um, some on my brain recently that I just wanted to talk about and express how I was feeling um, on YouTube. So, um, earlier this week, I went out to um, celebrate my cousin's wife birthday and she's a singer so she was singing with um this band at a lounge so you know i'm into live music and i said well that'd be different it doesn't you know should require a lot of you know to do so i was there and i kind of like the neighborhood lounges and stuff because you know i like these high price clubs to get in and you pay a ridiculous amount of money for uh, a drink that might be big, this big. You know, the neighborhood lounges, they had a big, tall jug, glass jug, like this big. And it was full of drink and it was like $12. So that, been, that could have been about three or four drinks at one of those little clubs. But anyway, nice atmosphere, grown folks, so... This guy ended up sitting next to me, and the birthday girl's mother was like, oh, he looks like he a nice young man. You should talk to him. I'm like, um, I need you to get out of my business. You know, everybody's trying to, you know, feel like there's a hurry up. They want to hurt and rush and marry me off, but you have to find out a person's story before you start saying, oh, this person cute. Yeah, I should have a conversation. So anyway... So the guy was trying to make polite conversation and we was talking and he was saying how his dad used to own the lounge and all that good stuff. And I was like, well, do you own the lounge? And he said, no. But anyway, get to getting to the point of this. Um, he asked me the question of, he said, I know um, I don't suppose to act this, but I'm just curious uh, how old you are and do you have any kids? And I said that I was 35 years old. And I don't have any kids. So I asked him how old he was. He said he was 25 years old and he had three kids. And he said, wow, I have never met anybody your age that never had a kid or don't have kids. And I said, well, it's not uncommon because I have quite a bit of friends in their 30s. 40s and managing uh, some acquaintances I know that are in their 50s and don't have kids. And I really wanted to say, wow, three kids. I said, so how many um, mamas you got? Oh, um, three kids, two baby mamas. And I said, well, I want to say I never met anybody who had that many kids at the age of 25. It really struck a chord with me how society feels like you're not accomplished because you're not married or you don't have a kid by a certain time or, you know, it's just, I know I'm not alone because a lot of my circles that I travel into, that I travel, I hang out with, I might have three friends out of those social circles that have kids. And those people who do have the kids, they didn't have them until they was like, late 30s, sometime early 30s or late 30s. And then I got quite a bit of uh, friends, sorority sisters that don't have kids. And I got people I know that are married and ain't got kids yet. So it just baffles me how people feel like kid. you feel like you're not accomplished or you haven't arrived in life because you're not married and you don't have kids. Trust me, if it was me, in a more perfect world, I would have been married by 25 years old. I would have had my first kid at 27. I would have had my second kid by 30. And, and, and hey, that's the case by 35. I would have been, what, 10 years in a marriage? I had, what, a, a eight-year-old and, what, a six-year-old by now? In Lisa's ideal world. But the reality is that's not what it is right now. Um, I do desire to be married and I do desire to be kids. It's just that I just want to do it the right way. I just don't want to end up just pregnant by any old body and they don't love me and I don't care for them and the child was not 
brought into the world under the greatest circumstances. I know in life things happen, but sometimes there's things in life like child conceiving that we can control. Um, but I just, it just baffled me how people just have a problem. It's always the people who got an issue with that are not in the greatest situations. Like that guy got three kids, two baby mamas. Are you married? Are you thinking about marriage? Um, no, I'm just taking care of my kids. And even women look at me like I see old friends from elementary school, um, friends from high school. They're like, damn, you ain't got no kids? Um, no, just because you were pregnant while we was in high school or you had your first baby in high school or you the first thing you did when we walked across the stage and um, at the high school was had babies. Um, I did go off to college and got a bachelor's and a master's and started a career. Um, so, no, I didn't. And even if I did have kids, it probably wouldn't have been to after I got established with, you know, my career at the college. You know, because I seen people, I went to college with people who had kids and it was quite the struggle for them. Um, they did it, and I admired them for doing it, but they will always tell us, um, enjoy the fact that you can run free. So, you know, when you see examples, and like two of my dearest friends are single mothers right now. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, so I don't feel like I'm lack of a woman. I don't feel like I'm lack of a person. Because I don't, I'm not married yet, and I don't have kids yet, and I don't feel like I have to arrive to anything. It's just about when the time is right, and I think I will be granted the desires of my heart when the time is right, and when I meet a nice guy who's worthy of me considering being, you know, the father of my child. So, I need people to stop. I need people to stop because, you know, the ones who are complaining got multiple kids, multiple um, baby daddies or baby mamas, and you looking at me like I'm a science project. I'm not a science project. It's okay. I work hard. I volunteer. I work with my church. I work with my... um sorority I, vol I do volunteer work so I can do things that people who have a tribe of kids may not do so I feel like and I can just spend my money on me and I can go you know if I want to set up and try to go for a trip I can you know I don't have to worry about you know this trip versus diapers or this trip versus the kids need shoes. I'm not at that point in life yet. But when the time comes, I will make those decisions to choose diapers over whatever. So, I need people to stop. Just because people don't have kids don't mean their life are fulfilled. Don't mean they're not happy. Don't mean that they're not busy or they got things going on. Or even they have a ton of money because they don't have kids. It's just... Hey, I mean, I just really think that people lost the essence and value of marriage anyway. So everybody's so, like, jaded. Um, they're so jaded with the whole notion of marriage anyway. Because, you know, people are not married like my parents were. My parents been together 38 years. And people, you know, it's the, our parents and our grandparents that's having these sustaining marriages. But these people that come around lately, you know, it's it's a blessing for them to get to 10 years. And that seems like that. I mean, some people saying five years is a milestone. So, overall, I'm just saying there's nothing wrong with me. Okay? I'm healthy. I'm happy. And I am being where I'm at in life. I'm at where God wants me to be at this moment. So... When he sees fit to present me with someone or reveal someone to me that I could take the next step in life with, I would gladly go there. But, you know, people do feel some type of way when you question them about not having kids and not being married. Sometimes it's a rough spot. So, 
be careful and be mindful how you, you know, treat people. You know, just like you want for those who do have children and you don't want people to frown upon you and saying you can't, um, you can't do whatever because you got kids. That's the same way. Don't frown upon us because we don't have it yet. Actually, we, you know, I, I like ripping and running in the summertime. I'm actually looking forward, um, I'm actually looking forward to that. Um, this upcoming months with the summer is ripping and running. So that's all I got to say. There's nothing wrong with me. There's nothing wrong with anybody out there who are in their 30s, 40s, and 50s um, that don't have kids. Nothing wrong with you. You're fine. Continue to live life. Um, and if that's and if kids where you want to be eventually. By all means, go for it. Some people say at a certain age, if they surpass childbearing ages, they will go ahead and, and adopt. I always say that could be a possible option after a certain age, but I feel like I still got I still got time in the game, honey, because women are having babies in their early 40s, so I feel like I got time. I don't feel like I have a lot of time, but I still got some time, so... Um, I hope this is an encouragement to somebody, but it was just something I feel like I got to get off my chest and yeah, but that's pretty much it. And just, I did this post on Facebook as well. And I got a lot of love from a lot of people because they said they feel like they're in the same place. Everybody's questioning about when they're going to get married or why they don't have kids. And really, it ain't really about the marriage part. It's the kids. Like, ooh, you don't have kids? Not, oh, you got a college degree and you got a nice job. No, it's, ooh, you ain't got no kids. Oh, um, okay. That's shocking. But I look at them. Wouldn't I be rude to say, ooh, you don't have a college degree? That's shocking. But you, I mean, you don't do that. You, and it's not, it's like comparing apples to oranges anyway. But I'm going to stop blabbing now. But I just wanted to put this out here. So I hope this is encouragement. Nothing's wrong. Enjoy life. For those who busy body, mind your damn business. Let people be and just enjoy the friendships and the relationships that we do have. That's it. That's all. Stay tuned for more videos. Peace.